Okay. Okay. What is Jean-Pierre doing? No, what? What? No, what? <laughs> Objectives that's important to know. 
because this is something that I do with my students in New York, and you may find it interesting. Um, there is the content of using the prepositions properly and speaking, you know, yeah, that's the content, the idea. That's the information. But then you also have the language that they need. So what language do they need to use the preposition? English, and also what specific words do they need? Which ones? On. On. In. At. For. Under. So you see what I'm saying? Down. Good. So what needs to happen when we think about uh, objectives, I just want to share the idea. There's the content. Okay, we want them to use preposition. That's the idea. But then there's specific words that I need every student speaking. There's specific words I need every student writing. There's specific words I need uh, for them to use. So this is the idea. Separate objective of information and then the the, what are they actually reading and writing and speaking and doing? Does that kind of make sense? I think it kind of makes sense. The, the best way, I just like this reflection question. I'm going to just give you the question. You should ask yourself after you teach a class, how many times did each student speak today? So just write this question down. I think it's, a, it's, a, it's another point. How many times did each student speak today? I know there's a lot of writing happening in your classes, so that, that's good, but we also want speaking. Um, do you want something to write on? You're good. Uh, so, how many times did each per student speak today? We should ask ourselves that question. Because if, if we only had three students speak, what were the other students doing the other 30 minutes? Okay, maybe they wrote a couple of things. But if we want to involve head, heart, and hands, So that means that they should be speaking. I love sign language. But what I'm saying is everyone needs to speak to, hopefully in English. <laughs> okay. So there's this strategy I need. Um, we'll do it. Okay, strategy, what are we, five? Six? Five. five? This one's called clapping stories. So, who, who has students who like to play? Your students like to play? Anyone, raise your hand, your students like to play? Yes. They do, right? Now, if we want them to remember, like what you were saying, the part of the brain that's happiness and memory and emotion, you know, emotion and wherever it is in the brain, I don't know, I'm not a scientist. <laughs> wherever it is in the brain, emotion and memory is very close. So we want them to play with the language. So what's a word, let's say in your class, a word in your class you want your students to know? If they don't really know, they haven't really learned how to spell, or they haven't, what's a word? Seashore. Okay, so let's say I come up, I write it on the board. S E A S H O R E. One of the problems we have as teachers is the kids learn the alphabet, but they can't read. Right? Because when you come to the word seashore, and I come to S E, and then there's an A there, I would want to pronounce C A S H O R E. I don't even know how you pronounce the E in French or Creole, but do you understand what I'm saying? This is a serious problem. Seashore. Is that what they would say? Seashore. So it's a pronunciation problem, but it's also a phonetics problem. Because they haven't had the experience of the sounds, they only have the alphabet. But the alphabet, she's having an experience outside. Is something good happening outside? I wish that. I, I, it's okay, I just want to know. See, yeah, that's okay. You know, my body. It's okay, I know you're sick, it's fine. <laughs> I always like to make I like to, but she's sick, it's fine. I need, they, they, they took me to the 
I went to the hospital two days ago. I was terrible. It was really bad. It said I found the voice. Come on. <laughs> Anyways, it's really important, even when you're talking, if you see the kids, I like to always say, having a spiritual experience, or, you know, like doing one of these, try to bring them back. <laughs> you may not, right? Rodrigues and pay an il de pesha a la base, right? Something like this. But as teachers, you're also fish fishermen. Tu mets la scène. Et tu essaies d'attraper ce que tu peux. All right? I'm being serious. And you, you try however you can. We are fishermen of attention. Or fisherwomen of a fisher, right? Anyway. <laughs> I forgot what I was trying to say. <laughs> ah, seashore! Seashore! So I'm practicing spelling. So I come into a group. This is called clapping stories or clapping spelling. So put your hands out. We're going to practice spelling. Yeah, both hands out. You can put one hand if you want. You can put both. We're going to practice spelling the word seashore. We're imagining it's there. So S E A. S H O R E. So that doesn't necessarily even help for phonetics. I, I realize that's just spelling. We could also do just the sounds. But that may be really hard, I don't know. But I'm just trying, I'm creating this idea as we're talking. So C E S H O R. So we're trying, I don't know. <laughs> you understand? It's a little weird. It's, it may not work, but I haven't done it with phonetics, honestly. I don't know if it'll work. But what this does work with is spelling. G O O D. We're going to practice for the next 20 seconds, 30 seconds class, spelling the word good. G O O D. Okay, this is a way of doing spelling socially with head, heart, and hands. Once they get the spelling, you could make a sentence. You put the word good here, and you say, your job is to make a sentence with the word good. My cat is good, my stomach is good, my mom is good, okay? And that's what they're going to do for the next two minutes. We're expanding the time of practice. So we're going to use, make a sentence with good. Okay, so... I don't know. I am good. Good. Okay. Period. Come on, how do you say it again? Full stop. Full stop. Full stop. Full stop. You can do punctuation on this So instead of having them forget, we do punctuation as a conversation. Okay, full stop. Good. Morning. Morning. Uh, exclamation point. Okay? You understand, so we're building. Okay? Next level of clapping stories would be you give a beginning of the story. So the beginning of the story, let's say, uh, good students, that's the beginning of my students, my story. Okay? Everyone would come into a circle and they would do the same clapping. So good students behave with <laughs> Well, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> pause or whatever it is, pause. I don't know, period. Pause, stop. We're already pause. Okay? So, if you're going to pair up, I just showed you three levels of using this game low level, forget about sounds, just do spelling. Low level spelling, higher level one sentence or one repeated structure. I like, I like, I like over and over. Higher level, beginning sentence, and let them go. Hey, Tuatu, you walk around the class. You have two minutes, pair up. You're going to create for your class what you need your students to be able to perform. What words, what sentences, what ideas begin. <laughs>
you've come up with? You're still thinking. Oh yeah, clapping story. What'd you come up with? A word, then a sentence? Yeah, but we can do one, one vocabulary word. Then we can do a sentence. And then finally, the beginning of a sentence. They probably won't be able to do the beginning of a sentence right away. So just start with spelling. You're going to practice spelling these 10 words. So they have to be able to spell and look and connect word with sound. Yeah. It could be numerous vocabulary words. It doesn't have to just be one. What are the three words you want your class to use very well? Spell very well. That they're missing up when they spell every time. What'd you get over here, team? What'd you get? Um, we are doing about the pictures of rooms at home. Okay. I, I sleep in the bedroom. Good. So you could have the beginning of the sentences, I sleep, dot, 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 and they need to choose in their circles, clapping it out. I like it. Good. I'm with it. You could also add beginning of sentences like my favorite bedroom is, or you know what my favorite place in my home is. You could add higher level if you want. Yeah. What do you think? Sorry. At my school, there are, there are teachers that uh, when spelling words, they ask people to do the gesture. Show me. I want to learn. Oh, does that help? Uh, the this, this, this I, I would like to ask you. For example, E-T. E-A-T-I-N-G. Do they learn better? Uh, do the movement. I want to know. I'm asking. Does, yes, I love okay. the idea. Do they, do they learn better? Yes. Uh, just just, just, just trace the letter. In that's the it. Air. Does yes, it work? But, in the air. But, yeah. but we, we have not done any... Training or training or any uh, to know that that oh. the, the child is doing better with a gesture. But have you we asked the evaluate. teacher? There's we no, don't no. evaluate. There is no evaluation about this. But there, there are two or three teachers that do this gesture. But they have been no research to prove do. that it works well. Oh, so there's no research to prove that it works. Yeah. The thing is that what works for me. Doesn't work for him. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Because me, I need a lot of movement. And I need to be moving all yes, the time. Yes, in, in lieu of but memory, we need to trace in, in sand. Yeah. So, trace in sand. The one that I like doing, it's just another example. I like to do it on my hand. But see, if he's a visual person, you could write on his hand all day unless he sees. So everyone is different in how they learn. When you use oh, the no, sensors. Sensors. That's it. So what I'm thinking. Sensors. That's it. so if you're telling the whole class, everyone, this doesn't mean anything for someone who's hearing and learning. You see what because he's maybe he's here listening and I'm telling him to do this and he, he's like ten of other songs. But me, I learn through hearing. So I think our job is to give it you know from buffet. We give the information buffet and they're gonna come and take Direct. Yeah, but you could do one time, you know, writing, one time speaking, one time. I, I don't have all the answers, but I think there's no one way. Yes, yes, yes. That's my own thought. I know for me, I, I learn more from doing this than I do from some person talking to me. Each teacher has it for his own strategy. And the thing is, our strategies, our teachers, are the way we are most comfortable learning. So like, are you visual or what, how do you learn? Maybe more by writing. By writing, I learn by doing. Mm -hmm. I don't even know, I'm just learning and I do something and after I say, oh, I learned how to do it. So everyone has their own way. And what, so if you learn by writing, you're gonna teach everyone to learn writing by writing. So that doesn't mean that they know how to write just by writing. Yes. You have to practice. They gotta practice, they gotta maybe clap it out. I don't know, maybe they have to write on the hand. You see what I'm saying? So. When we're thinking, huh? Multiple intelligence. The multiple intelligence. But it's very hard because we have our way of learning and we think everyone else learns the same way. But it's not true. So we have to think about all of them. Yeah. If you want to get a little fish, drop out of the cowpong. 
<laughs> right? Yes. If you want to get a big fish, you go with La Seine. You, you, you have to change the, the strategy for who's, who's in the room. Tea. Conversation here. Should I share or do you want to share? Okay, I share. We were just discussing. Well, some people learn by talking. Some people learn by writing. <laughs> some people learn by doing. That's how I learned. Some people learn by hearing. Some people learn by music. That's why in my other class I asked, "How do you feel yourself when you're stressed? What do you do?" Everyone said, "I listen to music." Some people learn kind of like internally. Very quietly, introverted. Some people outside, extroverted, like, you know, like me. <laughs> like doing what I'm doing. So, when we're doing any activity, you're introvert? Extrovert? But you seem so quiet. Okay. Anyway, you can be both. Any, the point is, when we are doing any activity, we need to think of doing the activity in different ways. It's hard, writing is writing. But maybe we could start writing just by clapping so it's moving and talking and speaking and interpersonally. This is how I learn a lot. I speak a couple of different languages, but this is how I've learned, is by interpersonal. We learn a lot by interpersonal. Much more than someone coming and say, you know, I don't know, brush your teeth every day or you know what I mean, eat breakfast. You see, we don't learn by that. We learn by, we go home and we see what our parents do and we repeat it. Because we learn interpersonally. So we need to think about how do we make our class interpersonal? How do we make it writing, you know, visually, kinesthetic, <coughs> moving? Is, that, is there anything else you want to add? Add something. Did I miss anything? I, I went too fast, I said a lot. Because you, know you know what happens? We say so much information, we throw it, and then we don't know what actually <laughs> stayed. So I'm going to ask you just quickly, what did you just, just pair up quickly, what did you understand? I just said what he told me. What did you understand about, what was the topic? Uh, multiple. Yeah, multiple yeah. implementation is stupid. How many implementations are we going to take into consideration? Yeah. Uh, why are we on That's it. That's it. Different styles of learning. Oh, that was the point I said. When we teach, we teach the way that we learn. So you see how I'm teaching, I'm all over the place. When I was a student, I couldn't sit down. I had to go to a different school because I was too wild. So this is it. You teach the way you learn. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's good. Yeah, but I can see when a child does not remain at this place, we say that uh, he's disturbing the crowds. Mm. Sometimes we have a tendency to, to, to say so. Yeah. Because, uh, we have a, a way of teaching the, our crowds that sometimes when the, when the child is not at his place, we say that he's disturbing. Because <laughs> he is. <laughs> but it's also like, are we, I just asked the question. Refer, refer, reference to multiple intelligences. Are we giving? For, for most teachers, having a science class, it's good. <laughs> it's what? For, for most teachers, having a science class with science. science. Okay. For, uh, for our heads, our heads. Is this that not in my in my management? Yeah. <laughs> I know. No, it's very true. I was telling someone to do singing, and they're like, no, 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 but you're not managing the class. All, all, all I have the question for you is. In life, do you want to make your students be people who can just quietly, passively respond? Basically, if you only want your students to follow directions, those are the kinds of citizens you're going to create in your society. And I'm not saying directions are bad. We should all follow the laws and directions. We should also teach people to think for themselves. But if they think too much for themselves, it's not good. But if they only follow directions, it's also not good, no? Because, I mean, I'm not telling you, the rector knows more than anything that I know. 
But I think that we should give them more independence. That's my opinion. You can disagree. Because also, maybe si on don't throw, they become too wild. Because I'm going to be honest, my area of challenge in teaching, even with primary and secondary, is classroom management. I'm going to be very honest with you. That's very hard for me. Because I'm so... I'm not going to say I'm a professional about everything. Because if you're a professional at everything, that means you have nothing to learn. <laughs> and that means you shouldn't be here. You should, someone, I should be, you should be standing here. You, no one's professional of everything. Right? We're all improving, but... Can I do more strategies, or is this... Okay, I want to do one that's related to... Well, actually, does someone want to come up and do the clapping, or no? I'll just keep going. Do you want to just show the example of what you came up with for clapping? No? Yes. Anyone, come up. Come back up, ladies. I'll be in your group. We'll do three. <laughs> come up, come. Show a little more, that's a good example. Um, where do you see? I see in the kitchen. The next one. Um. Mm -hmm. It was here. Yeah, did she press her top? Good. Hands out into a circle. 
Hands out, hands out. Okay? Hands up, hands up. Palms up. You want to do that way? No problem. Now I need one person. I'm going to tap on your back, and you're going to be the person who's going to start it. You're going to be the teacher. Okay? So you'll explain the activity, and then after, you'll explain the question or whatever it is, the word, or whatever you're doing. No problem, no problem, no problem. Power rooms, power rooms. Look, do another, do another topic. That's their topic. So you can still play with each other. Um, you're our teacher. Yes. What is the topic? What topic did you two write about? A topic. Uh, For clapping, this is the clapping. What did you come up with? Okay, so explain with the language. What language needs to come up in the circle? Maybe you want the adjectives. Sure, it can be adjectives. So what adjectives? No, the ob objectives. The objectives. Oh, yeah, it could. Basically, what do you want the language to happen in the circle? So, example, if it's bedroom, bedroom language, they talked about kitchen, bedroom. What language do you want to have happen in the circle? So a clapping story could be, oh, we're talking about adjectives. You need to use two adjectives, beautiful and ugly. I think he is beautiful. I, you see what I'm saying? Okay. Do it. So those are your two words. Yeah. So create sentences using those words as a group. So go. He is naughty. You can talk about students in the class. Talk about students in your class. Go. Okay. Clapping it out. Clap, clap, clap. I need to see clapping. Start clapping the story. Yeah. Or the what is what is your topic? Um, I'm working on jobs. Okay. So we, are, we, are, we have already um, named the jobs. Okay. Now we are telling what the people. What the? the person do the, the postman delivers it. Oh, okay. Good. You you lead it. You're in charge. Not me. Keep going. <laughs> Oh, good, just foods. And as you get more advanced, you could say, I like, I don't like. At my home, I have, I don't have. How are we going to do this with clapping? I say the whole sentence. And then the other. You could just give the topic. You could be like, all right, everyone stop. Not to Sorry, continue, keep, keep doing. Keep going, keep going. Like, you could just give the topic. Now we're going to say all things we don't have. So, I don't have, I don't know, lemons at my home. I, d period. I don't have cows. You just, you could just uh, choose the theme. But you should keep a very specific structure. Okay? Miss, please, 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 
<laughs> Keep playing. Let me see. Let me see. Play. Play. I like it. Keep going. Keep going. Let me see. Sorry to interrupt, but what is? Let me see the circle. Let me see you play. <laughs> play. I have to watch you play to see you got it. How do you say again, period? Fos, how do you call it? What do you call periods? Le, le date à la fin d'une phrase. Full stop. Full stop. Full stop. Uh, Ajoute ça dedans. <laughs> okay? Because. Oui, parce que aussi, ils ont besoin de ça. Right? Okay, if you haven't, please use punctuation. Yes. You're doing it? Use punctuation. Add punctuation into it. Do you, so we're just going to focus on questions first. Do you eat fruits? Do you have question mark so that we can and remember? One person will say question mark. One person yeah. Will say okay. Has, has your team added any punctuation? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what topic did you choose? What topic were you discussing? Good. Good. And the easy way of starting it may be to have all the lists of words and have them just practice spelling first. Honestly, if you have them just start first, so it could be like, I don't know, potato, P O T A T, and the last person says potato. You got what I'm saying? So that's the lower level. It's just a thought. Yeah. Okay. Right there. You're going. 